Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 539. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 539 to 550. Hey, our trick here involves a data set with transactional records. This is the new data set we have and this is the old data set and we need to check all the records that are in this new data set that are not in this data set constitute a new record and we need to extract it. For example, this one is in this list. We're not interested in it. This one is not in this list. We are interested in it. Now in this video 539, I'll see, we'll see how to add a column with a formula and use the filter feature. This is probably the fastest way. Um, and then we'll see in 40, we'll see an array formula that will do it automatically. And if you download this workbook, I have these yellow sheets, M1, M2, M3. There's five different methods of doing this. Now, um, first we're going to use the match function. And what does the match function do? If you say match, please look up this value right here, comma, within this range right here comma and we'll do exact match for um, or zero. It just gives you the relative position or ordinal position. So right now S2 is the first item here. If there's duplicates when we put zero it'll give us the first occurrence. Now our formula over here won't have to deal with duplicates because there's obviously a unique record here that is not over here. So match just does that. But that's not going to work. You can see, oops, I forgot to lock this range. So that just gives you the ordinal position. Now, this is looking at a single cell and a single column, but that's not what we want here. We need to actually look at all four cells or four columns for this record simultaneously and match them against all four complete columns over here. So we're going to use the match, but we're going to use it not the single value. We somehow have to get the lookup value to look at all of these. We'll do that simply with the join symbol ampersand, which is shift 7. We'll say, hey, match, look at that one, and that one, and that one. That now constitutes a single uh, item or a single item in a single column. So if I hit F9 to evaluate this, you see we've joined those. And now we can use that as our lookup value. Anytime all of this junk together, um, is over here, uh, is not over here, then we want it. Control Z. Now, that's the lookup value using ampersand shift 7. But wait a second, uh, we did it on individual cells. Lookup table, we actually need to do the same thing but on all the columns in the same order. So that column, shift 7, this column, shift 7. So now I have this whole table. And now watch this, if I hit F9 and evaluate it, F9 key, sure enough, it has combined four columns into one column. That semicolon in array syntax means go to the next row. So there's just one item, go to the next row, one item. So this is like a column of data. Totally cool. We have reduced, uh, using ampersand, a bunch of columns in a data set to a single column. And now they can, be, they can match. So I'm going to say comma 0, close parentheses. Now, this is an array, so I'm going to use Control Shift and Enter to enter this. Double click and send it down. I forgot to lock the ranges. Right here. F4, F4. The annoying thing about having to do, go back and do it later is you have to do it to both cells. Whereas if you highlight the range fresh, you just hit the F4 key once. Control Shift Enter, double click and send it down. Now, what are we interested? The NAs. That means this record is not over there. To convert these to trues and falses, I'm simply going to say, um, actually, if you don't mind the, the NAs, we can just use it exactly like this. I'm going to convert this to a list. In earlier versions, you used Alt DFF, and then they, uh, the filters appeared. Alt DFF is a toggle. Uh, Control Shift L now works. I'm going to click this drop down because our goal is to extract these. And I want to unselect all and select the NAs only. 
There we have it. There's our three records. Now, when you're copying a filtered list, when you use Control C, the dancing ants are marching and dancing around just the visible cells. So that's kind of cool. You copy it. Whatever you do, don't paste it over here because it'll appear in uh, various rows because there's rows hidden. I'm actually going to paste it on a new sheet. Shift F11 is a keyboard shortcut for new sheet. Control V. And there we have our three records. Actually, I probably want to Control C and get the field names also. Control V. So uh, that's a nice uh, quick method. Unclear uh, filter. Nice quick method. Uh, using the match and the ampersand uh, and then copy and paste. When we come back, we'll see uh, an array formula to do the same thing. All right, see you next trick.